Peter Dinklage makes a great Cyrano in the new screen adaptation of Cyrano de Bergerac, but the key to his performance isn't his nose, it's the measure of a man and how he confronts those who try to sell him short. Set in a world where characters sing, yes, sing, their emotions, this Cyrano still presses on about unrequited love and lets Dinklage breathe new life into a familiar character. Best friends with Roxanne, played by Haley Bennett, he sees how she pines for a young soldier, played by Calvin Harrison Jr., and agrees to run interference for both. There's still his love that's hanging out there, but it often gets shoved aside by those songs that, for the most part, aren't all that joyful or involving. Consider this dances with swords and you should get the picture. Thankfully, Dinklage announces himself immediately, playing critic at a show and parrying with its leading man. The verbal battle is impressive, particularly since Cyrano looks up to no one. Director Joe Wright, who leans into the look of the film, has trouble deciding which innovations to embrace. As a result, he tosses everything in the pot and hopes it turns out right. Frequently, it doesn't. Those songs add an interesting touch, but they're not diverse enough to make this a full-fledged musical. Similarly, the supporting cast is filled with stray characters who don't quite pull the focus. Ben Mendelsohn, as a duke who insists Roxanne is his, is merely a diversion before the suitors make their case. An interesting take, this Cyrano won't exactly make you embrace a story you shunned in high school, but it does show Peter Dinklage is capable of more than you ever thought possible. Game of Thrones gave him Emmy attention, now Cyrano could move him into Oscar's ranks. With their movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.